Hey, Sim Sima Posse, what's going on? It's been a minute. Okay, okay. What's good, Sim Sima Posse? Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Where do I start? Okay, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. All right. It's been more than a minute, I know, but your girl been busy. Um, let me tell you, I have spent my days off sleeping, legit, legit, legit thinking about shooting a video, but honestly, I have not found a drive. Like, and I, I don't know, I just can't fake it. So I take up the camera and I'm like, okay, let me do a vlog, let me do a video for y'all, but the energy be so off. Um, I know Jalen is not here and man, I miss him. I mean, I miss talking to y'all too, but apart from being so tired and exhausted, um, I, I don't know. I have just been literally in hibernation for the, the past couple of weeks, but um i am checking in today guess what i'm doing i decided that i'm gonna get my ass off the couch on my day off and i am going to take myself on a date so because i love the painkiller so much i have not had one in a while i know that cheddars is gonna be my go-to right now so i'm gonna take myself to cheddars i'm gonna get me some ribs some you know probably some french fries and i'm gonna have me a painkiller or two a painkiller and i am gonna talk to y'all i don't know what i'm gonna talk about yet probably just a life update what's been going on where i've been trying to see how y'all are doing but I'm gonna go drive. Yeah, so your girl is on her way, um, just driving. But I don't know. Let me know. Tell me, um, what 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 have you guys been up to? You know, I mean, it for me this feels like the world is kind of getting back to normal. Um, the restrictions are dropped more so. Um, I've not gone anywhere really without my mask, you know, or whatever, just the same. And I feel like I have been a prisoner to the pandemic for so long. I mean, it's been over a year and I have taken precautions more than anybody else that I know in terms of going places. I... I, I am not usually out and about to be honest and I think that this pandemic gave me reason to stay in and I just capitalized on the opportunity but let me tell you it is getting to me and I feel like I just need to get out of the house I just enjoy my company my own company a little bit because this is not something I I, I, I find it hard to do. I find it rather satisfying um, enjoying my own company. Yes, I do love the company of other people. I love to be around friends and all that. But I, I love my own company also. And this is what I'm going to do today. Today it's about me. It's about some me time. Um, I mean, while I drive there... Um, I mean, I've been doing a lot of things in the behind the scenes, in the background, um, trying to, you know, get get a foundation down and both here and in Jamaica. So I've been doing a lot, y'all. I have gained quite a few pounds and I am more so focused on getting those pounds off also so it's not just about sitting around on the couch i am working out i can't show you the result yet but i am hoping to have consistent result and for the first time in my life i am actually working out to lose weight and is actually losing weight so i am very excited about that um my birthday 
is coming up in a couple of months they always say make sure you outdo the birthday before and my last birthday was a very good birthday I'm not really big on celebrations and you know I mean I do acknowledge my birthday and I do believe that this day should be set aside for whatever you want to do with it and for the past couple of years actually I have chosen to work on my birthday so last year was even when I was in Jamaica I have chosen sometimes not really chose to work on my birthday but I usually go to a resort on my birthday and so most of the times to get my days off for when I want to actually go on the resort I work on my birthday and I have felt that to be satisfying to be honest I have found it satisfying and I have made conscious decisions to work on my birthday for the past couple of years except for last year um, I wasn't sure I wasn't planning on doing anything at all for my birthday I was just planning on just staying home eating some food or whatever but friends and family came through and I had one of the best birthdays I have had in my entire life and because of that I feel pumped I feel pumped I feel like I want to outdo that birthday I I don't know if it's gonna go as far as taking a trip but a part of what I'm working on as a gift for myself I am hoping for it to come through in time for my birthday and that will top all my birthdays I know um, so that's gonna be a plus but I don't know what I want to do for my birthday yet but for some reason I feel pumped I feel the drive I feel like I want to make it really special and I mean just live I read somewhere that you can only live when you're alive and it is so true we spend so much time and so much energy um, just focusing on building a life that sometimes we do forget to live the life that we do have and that my friends are very 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 much important okay so that's what I'm gonna do let me show you my journey I'm going to now blessings are flow like a river Blessings are flow like a river. Chat that we know say man a leader. Spread your wings. Nothing is impossible. Believe. If I can do it, you can spread your wings. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. If I can do it, you can. Blessings that will flow like a river. Blessings that flow like a Tonemina Nina. Okay guys, so your girl pulled up to Cheddar's and I am just enjoying being outside. I feel extremely naked, not wearing a face mask right now. But let's see, I'm walking and just inhaling the natural natural air it feels so good and I feel like I could just touch it people but let's see what inside looks like hopefully it's not crowded because hmm, if it's crowded I'm gonna pull my mask out because I'm not playing I'm not playing at all Guys, I am here, but I am sitting outside, sitting outside waiting because um, there is a wait to get a table. Um, and it's table for one. There are tables, but just big tables. So I'm waiting for a table for one. Imagine that, a table for one. But nonetheless, I am looking to have it a fantastic time i am looking to enjoy my food and my drink and just talking with you guys 
a plane. Look. Oh, wait there. Oh, see there. One day for flight 828. <laughs> Uh, guys, I don't know how many of you have watched um, what's manifest, but I'll be thinking every time I get to go on a plane, I'll be like, Am I gonna see y'all in five years? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that shit is creepy as hell. Um, I wish they had finished it though, like at the that last episode. Why do we need a whole new season? Don't drag it on. So at the end it started to drag a little bit so but I nonetheless I watched it to the end but I absolutely love it y'all. If you are into mystery you know just those little stuff it's probably not for everybody but it definitely is a nice little watch to kill time and uh, you know I watch it on what Netflix yeah guys being outside in the heat and the sun it, I feel like I have not had sun touch my body in a very long time <laughs> honestly because I leave for work in the morning and then I get back in the night and I stay home because usually Jalen is here I'd bring him to school pick him up back or whatever I mostly stay home you know so I feel like I haven't sun had the sun and heat touch my body in so long so I feel like I'm in a furnace or something but nonetheless it feels good and there is no problem whatsoever with it. I got a message that my table is ready so I am going in so guys I am inside I got my table I don't even have to look on the menu because I know exactly what I want I know exactly what I'm getting and there is no change in that okay so I am gonna get ribs 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 some french fries and I'm gonna get me a painkiller let me show y'all my painkiller see there Pussa's rum cream of coconut pineapple juice whatever the hell that is and it's limit two per guest I do usually take my two especially when I'm having food along with it I usually take my two because it's not that you know like it's not very alcoholic <laughs> you know Jamaican you know for Jamaican style Jamaican flavor it's pretty good. Excuse me, I'm here. 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 i am here i am here i am here i am here I'm jamming y'all. I just got my order in actually I was planning on I wasn't planning on a second side so it caught me off guard so I just like okay I'll take the coleslaw I don't like coleslaw y'all but I'll eat it if I buy it I'll eat it but I don't like it but it was the only option that I see not to add so much more because I'm already having you know all that fries and that ribs um, so I'm not trying to throw myself off completely off track you know I'm just eating I'm not I don't want to overdo it 
but I did order my painkiller for sure. That's a must. That's a plus. That's a given. And it has like 350 calories, but it's calories that worth it so much. Um, so tell me, tell me in the comment section about that time when you take yourself on a date and how was it? How did it fare out? I mean, as I said, this is not my first rodeo. I've, it's something that I've always strived to do and I absolutely, absolutely enjoy it. And now that I have you all to talk to, it makes it even more fulfilling, you know? So I do plan to spend some me time just eating, relaxing, but I think I get in out of the house like this i feel like i had to include you guys in 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 it so this is why i'm vlogging this for y'all so yep so anyways updates now where i've been what i've been doing so as i said earlier on in the video you know i've been in the background trying to get a lot of stuff done um i i am not the person to talk before things are actually fulfilled and are on the forefront so i will leave that for the surprise i'll leave it for the surprise for y'all but uh, and most of you know that as it relates to my job i'm in a completely new environment and it is so much more busier than usual and it is fulfilling I love it I love it I don't know why I have not been doing emergency room all this time but I absolutely love it I absolutely love it and I don't know I, I do love it you know just the the adrenaline sometimes uh, I feel it for the people who comes in sick half dead dying fully dead but the adrenaline that comes through your body when you know that your you and your team were able to save a life and you and your team were able to give family members even just another day even though you know I'm pretty sure they probably go on to live longer based on you know how well they did while we had them in the department but you never know but just knowing that you give that family member the fulfillment of knowing that okay they didn't just die suddenly on us um it the the rush that comes with it is everything everything guys they bring me water am i the only one who don't drink water from restaurants I absolutely do not because I do not trust the water at all at all at all so mm -hmm. I don't drink water I don't drink their water <laughs> sorry to say but I'm not I don't know when last you guys um, have gone to Cheddar's but they came out with the probably shortly shortly before the pandemic hit and man it is so freaking good and there goes my painkiller mm. i'll bring it closer you guys look at that love it y'all see my face right now love it love it love it, love it. Server know what's up. They brought me two straws. One for now and one for later. This is my bin right now. Literally. <laughs> and this cassan and butter. Amazing. 
And guys, I did eat breakfast. So I didn't come with an empty stomach. <laughs> So guys, what's your favorite thing to have from Cheddar? Or, what's your favorite place to take your soul? Let me know. All right. I've got a few more weeks to do these self dates. So, let your girl know. the thumbs up if you've ever had this painkiller from Cheddar. If you haven't, hit the thumbs up to let me know that you're gonna try it. It's good. And if you're not gonna try it, still hit the thumbs up. <laughs> Guys, so this would not be a painkiller if I did not do this. Look. This is coconut. And I love coconut. So I use my finger and I pick it off. <laughs> and I just eat it <laughs> all the time. All the time. I don't care who is watching. It's my money. It's my body. This is my space. My me time. I'm sure other people do it too. What you think? Mm. Are y'all ready to see my meal? Yep. So that's my ribs, my French fries, and some coleslaw. Your girl is capping on this one. So my waiter was like, excuse me ma'am, no offense, I hear an accent, can I ask where you're from? I don't know why people, I've never, never taken offense when people ask me where I'm from. In fact, I'm always very happy to tell them where I'm from. And I'm very happy that they ask where I'm from. Because I am ready to say, <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> because... 98% of the people always saying, oh, I've always wanted to go there. Or they're saying, oh, we went there. So I'm filled with national pride. Filled to the top, running over. <laughs> but guys, this ribs is so delicious. French fries is really delicious. Let me see what the cold slice is about. Not bad, good. At least it doesn't taste like cabbage. A lot of people have it out until it's a little bit sour. That's what I don't like about it. But this one is really fresh. It's really good. Them, what are we them chop with a knife? Huh? Cut somebody. So guys, where is your favorite place to get your ribs from? My favorite place to get ribs is Texas Roadhouse. 
and mm, don't let me get started on their bread their bread and butter is absolutely amazing trust me Let me let you in on a secret what I do, guys. When I go out in a room, I leave a doggy bag. Because I want to take my bones with me. I have to eat my bones. I don't know about anybody else. But I have to eat my bones. I have gotten the side eye a lot in the past for that. Oh, no. Yeah, no more. Okay, I carry on the rest. Look, guys. See? I'm going to definitely drink my painkiller, do I? And I bet you when I go home and sit down later, I demolish all of this without problem. We don't not even feel my belly full. I don't know why, but as we said before, good girl belly ever full as soon as I go out. How you doing, my boy? Okay, okay? Good, good, yeah. As soon as belly full. So, my server asks me, I'm more than I am. I'm a scooper. Fantastic. I'm a reset. I'm a recharge. Yeah. This is what taking myself out does to me, guys. Just reset me. I'm a good to go again. He's on top in this game now, guys. Finish the title of this Everly Brothers to Wake up little Susie more common I don't know the damn song but Simone is on top imagine dragons Jalen is the reason why I know the answer to this first things first I'm a mm, 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 believe Ooh, I'll make you a believe <laughs> can't forget your little curry okay Damn, I'm on fire. I had a dream and I got everything I wanted. Let me see if I'm gonna be the winner. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Who is the winner? Who is the winner? Well played. Oh shit. Final question.
over this way Paul Simon that sounds like somebody who wrote something but I mean I'm leading by a lot and the winner is you won thank you so I am just waiting on my bill oh that's the next thing about taking yourself out you always have to pay the bill <laughs> unless you want to go to the back and do some washing wash some pots and all that whatever but otherwise you gotta pay your own bill a hundred percent there is no splitting of the bill it's just you baby <laughs> I kind of wish I could actually go out and clean my plate like that. My drink, I have no problem. No problem doing that at all. No problem. But my plate, I wish I could clean it like this. That way I know for sure that I give the server something to laugh about. They'll be like, oh, this girl was hungry. But yeah, so. I am coming to the almost end of my date. I don't know if I want to go get ice cream or if that is pushing it a whole lot. I don't think I have space for ice cream so that's definitely probably pushing it a whole lot and I'm not in the mood to drive anywhere. I could drive to like a park or whatever but that's probably like 30 minutes drive i'm definitely not in the mood for all that driving not your girl mm -mm. i was a cut out to do the driving not at all i prefer to sit down and be driven or have somebody drive me but to do the actual driving is the actual no no so guys your girl is done fattening up her face and just enjoy my eating experience <laughs> i am so full i am so full let me show y'all we're so we're really close to the road y'all so show you the lovely the beautiful <laughs> this is texas y'all if you could feel the heat then you'll be like nope but i would not give the heat up for no form of snow i just can't do it i absolutely can't do the snow i refuse to do the snow and i will never never subject myself to doing snow nope i'm not doing it not doing it at all Start this baby up. It's so early. Should I go home? What to do? Probably just go and Gia go sit down and chat. <laughs> so me not have to go home. Go. If I go home, just I go home. Go watch TV. Anyways. But uh, tall ears are bother people. Is a bother. So I hope you all enjoyed coming on this journey with me. I hope you enjoyed my date as much as I did our date. Because actually, I was on a date with y'all. So, I hope you enjoy it. And I am gonna get myself in the groove. I am gonna become a Stella, get my groove back, and make sure I start giving you guys some more videos. And also, you guys need to comment, send me DMs, send me messages, whatever. Just let me know. What do you want to see your girl talk about? Because i'll be out of ideas because if you notice the youtube world it's like a lot of people are 
have other people on their channel but as y'all can see it's just me so I need to be doing stuff that I can do alone so let your girl know let your girl know what you want to see me talk about and the thing is my audience is so diverse I am trying not to do just one thing but I'm trying to have something for everyone video by video so instead of checking out the channel and be like oh no this is not for me if somebody could see a video and be like oh this is not for me but there is another video that they can watch then you know that would work because I I am a nurse yes but I'm medical but most of the people who are subscribed to the channel are not medical so I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll try to find a balance though I'll definitely try to find a balance and see you know what I can come up with it takes time it takes time it takes a lot and you definitely have to be in the headspace and as I said earlier for the past couple of weeks I wasn't but I think I'm ready to pick it up and get going so comment let me know give me some topics give me something that you all want to hear me talk about and we will take it from there so as usual thank you guys for tuning in thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you for the support and if you see this video first I know you loyal you still got your post notification on subscribe to the channel like the video um, send a link to a friend you know tell a friend to tell a friend and let them know that your girl is gonna be up and running again and until then see you next time peace out the truth